React.js versus AngularJS, a video by Royal Cyber. So let's jump straight in and take a look at some of the major differences that these both have to offer. First on the list, React.js is, is, is used as a library, whereas Angular is used as a framework. As it indicates, React.js updates only the virtual DOM present, and the data flow is always in one single direction. Whereas Angular, that updates the real DOM, and the data flow is ensured on both directions. For architecture, React.js is more simplified as it uses the MVC, that's model view control. This, is, this like Angular, includes features such as navigation, but this can only be achieved with certain libraries like Redux and Flux. It needs more configuration and integration. Whereas the architecture of Angular is a bit complex as it follows the MVVM, that's models, um, view, view model. And this includes many tools and other features required for navigation, routing, and various other functionalities. For performance, React.js holds JSX, hence the usage of HTML codes and syntax is enabled. But this does not make React.js a subset of HTML. This is purely JavaScript based. Whereas Angular, on the other hand, is a mere subset of HTML. Preference-wise, React.js is preferred when the dynamic content needed is, is intensive. As React.js holds more of a straightforward programming, and since it's reliable, many apps such as Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter still prefer to React.js over Angular. However, Angular is a platform independent, and hence it's compatible to work in any platform. Hence apps, which is compatible with all browsers, can prefer Angular. One of the major examples, and one that uses Angular, is YouTube. React.js is written in JavaScript, whereas um, for Angular, we have the Microsoft Type Transcript language, which is a superset of ECMA Script 6. On injection basis, the dependency injection is concept, and the dependency in injection system is used for Angular. To conclude, Angular is a great framework. It has many improvements in terms of React.js. It is you know, better for bigger enterprise applications. But if you're a beginner, will have less coding practice, and if you want stability for your project, then you might as well go ahead with React.js. If you need more information on this, and if you want to understand how these work, feel free to contact us at info at royalcyber.com. You could visit our website, you could chat with us, or give us a call on their given numbers, and we'll be glad to help.